I'm on the roof of the parking garage directly west of the fire um, in downtown near Park and Olette. And that's the Holiday Inn. And we're going to look down here at the damage. Wow. Wow. This is pretty devastating actually. Well, from what I can tell, to give you a lay of the land because I remember these stores and having interviewed the people inside of them, right here we have what was a gift shop years and years and years ago and hasn't been a gift shop for a long time. The frontage had red, white, and blue. This was the massage parlor, which it seems like the officers and firefighters are in the, in the window there and the contractors. And then we had the drunken burrito. And then we had what was a tobacco shop, which had recently been purchased by the folks at Drunken Burrito. And Awesome is the first store in this building, which obviously received some damage, some water and smoke damage. And if you can see down in that corner, they punched a hole through the brick. And possibly because of the, uh, the wood in these windows, they might have broken the windows because they look open to extinguish this fire. Uh, yeah, in fact, you can actually see where they've punched a hole here as well to put out this to put out this fire. And it looks like uh, there's a hole in the roof in a couple of spots for Crazy Horse. What is Crazy Horse uh, karaoke bar? So you're getting a unique look at this. Um, it looks like they they stopped it from going much farther than uh, halfway or two-thirds or whatever of, of this space, but it is pretty bad. It's far worse than I recall that it was going to be. The, uh, the weather being so cold that the trees all covered in mist and water and it froze, so the alley here is littered with uh, various bits of charcoal and roof parts and such. But downtown right now is pretty much uh, overrun on this block with um, contractors and contracting vehicles and Enwin and all kinds of different groups, fire, police. But again, if you'd like a, a look at this without overrunning the uh, the lot, um, yeah, I'm I'm up here on this on this roof and pretty much alone. This is shocking. The smell of charcoal is so prevalent it is just overwhelming the uh the char smell is is everywhere in the downtown you can't really you can't really escape it if you're within two or three blocks of this space but i'll give you another look here i stayed in one spot yeah so it looks like this like this metal piece here that big almost still partially green part was the uh, was the hood where they cooked your food in the front at Drunken Burrito. Man, this is really strange to see a space that you've been in and uh, potentially have eaten and spent time in and hung out in and know the owners of to see it like this. Oh, look at this. It looks like it looks like uh, you can see the, uh, the uh, stained wall but there's another hole that looks like the, the fire department punched in that in that building which I'm not sure what the upstairs of awesome is it might be another tenant or it might be it might be awesome but um, I'm curious how the heck they even do this um, I, I guess they must have the tools to just you know break through what looks like two at least two layers of brick to hit a fire from above but this is uh, amazing yeah you can see the uh, the firefighters and and the folks through the front taking a look at it. Wow.